15% left. I always do this to myself. Slightly annoyed right now. So I am selling the Bronco. That's the Bronco's replacement. I wanted to put new tires on it today. Looks like Mother Nature had other ideas. Go figure. And one day I decided to take off and take a me day. Let's see what I can do with 14% left. Turn my notifications off. That cool or what? <laughs> yeah, um, have I mentioned that I like vans? I think I mentioned that a time or two, but. So, the last video, I obviously went to go see Silas from uh, Ventures Made From Scratch. I, I didn't go there with the intention of making a video about him or, yeah, actually I tried to hide the fact that I even had GoPro on me. He noticed it, but you know, I, I think I tried to make it clear with him. I wasn't trying to make a video with his stuff or anything. It was more so about my trip going there and picking up the van and everything. But he's as honest as a guy as he is in his, his videos. And I like that about people that I choose to watch on there people that I want to put my time towards you know I, I I like that they're honest people not you know out there for the uh, bait and switch aspect of things so Silas doubt you're watching this but if you are fucking thank you so much for letting me come out there and looks like I'll be seeing you again in a couple months so yeah leave it at that so Tires are dry and cracked on this. I wanted to get them done today. It's looking like Mother Nature might have other plans for me. These tires are going on the van I picked up from Silas. I don't like these wheels. I have a set of wheels I want to put these tires on. I just can't find them right now. I thought I had them inside that van, but they aren't. I must have brought them to the warehouse because I know I didn't sell them. I don't sell things as often as I should. And I would remember if I sold those wheels. So I'm going to have a tire day right now. See how this uh, weather cooperates with me. I'm going to throw you guys on a charger for a bit. Got the air compressor going. I don't know if you could hear me. And I don't know if you saw it in the last video. I bought something off Silas that I think is going to work perfect for my Harley Servi car. This is my Servi car. I turn this uh, compressor off. That's better. So this is my Servi car. It looked nothing like this when I bought it, except for the flames. I kept the flames, but. I had a buddy do a bunch of work to it for me, and it's coming along nicely. I still have to swap out these wheels. I have a more original style wheel tire package that's going on it. And I was trying to figure out what to do with the trunk. I was gonna cut down a, a lawn and garden trailer of all things, and I don't know, it just didn't look right to me. But I found this thing out by Silas's uh, property I think it's going to work perfect. So I can't wait to get that out here. It'll be a couple months, though. All right. Well, I'm going to take advantage of whatever it is Mother Nature's giving me right now and get some work done. I'm going to throw you guys on the charger. So we'll see you in a bit. Did I mention how clean this van was? I wonder if having a problem with the trans shifting hard and the ABS lights on. I don't know if I can get to it today, but you know, sometimes cleaning the ABS sensor, it's in the, on the differential, really helps, so. But I'm gonna take the weather I can get right now. I don't feel like crawling underneath it right now. All right, off with the old. Well, the rain held off for a little bit. 
tempted to run out there and throw these wheels on. I see you guys in California don't have this problem. We can't work because of the rain. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I can't work because I got too much shit in my fucking garage. I gotta stop collecting projects and start completing projects. But, now it's raining, unfortunately. So much for that. At least I got two of them done. Didn't get them on the van though. I don't know if I should be out here right now. It's starting to hail. Maybe about, I don't know, pea sized hail. But it is hailing. Probably the worst hailstorm I ever got stuck in. I was driving this truck back from a car show and it was like, it was pretty big hail, like ping pong ball sized, I guess. Not quite golf ball, but it was, I don't know, marbles maybe, it was pretty big. This thing ain't got no headliner in it, so it was louder than hell inside there. But, vintage metal didn't leave even a scratch in that damn thing. No broken win window or anything. <sighs> well, if the weather gets better, you'll see me out here putting wheels on. If it gets worse, I'll show you the tornado that carries all my shit away. The hail's getting worse. Now they're like marble sized. I picked a hell of a day to stay home. It's either really good that it got calm or really bad. Bouncing off the roof of the garage. Bing, bing, bing. Ow, it hurt. Helped me in the side of the head. I know us. Us people in the Midwest are a different kind of breed. Standing out here watching this shit. Ooh, that one just fell. close up run inside the house well it stopped raining so back at it Flashlight go. So that sensor up there on top of the housing is the ABS sensor. What happens sometimes with those is, well, it's got like a little magnet in there. We'll, we'll pick up, I think, it gets dirty. Stuff gets 
stuck on it and it throws off uh, the readings. So this has uh, E4OD transmission in it which is electronically shifted. So if that's not giving the correct readings, the transmission's not going to shift right, which it's, people call it the slammies. It's got the slammies. There's like slams going into reverse and it slams from first to second, second to third, third to fourth. You know, you get the idea. When the ABS light is off, it's just fine. When the ABS light is on, I get the slammies. So I'm gonna pull it out right now while I'm out here and see if maybe it's just dirty. So in this case, it's a single 13 millimeter bolt. Well, the head is 13 millimeter. I believe it's got like a little retainer ring on there that holds it in. I do like this little Eastwood light. We're fortunate enough to have an Eastwood store here in Illinois. Come on, get out of here. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, that's got all kinds of stuff on it. All right, I'm gonna go wipe that off and put it back in. Yeah, it had all kinds of uh, particles on it. Just wiped it off, nothing special. Stick it back in, see if it helped. It was kind of a shame to take these tires off, but they're no longer within the date range. And they had tiny, tiny little bit of uh, weather cracks in them. But I don't know, I'm gonna post them up for free, see if anybody wants them for uh, rollers or something. Cause you know, somebody might need them around the farm or you know, something along those lines where they're not going on the highway every day. I'd rather see somebody get some use out of them. But van's done. Got all four wheels and tires mounted back on it. Did not balance them because I don't have a balancer. So unfortunately, I'll have to outsource that part of it to somebody else. There's a few tire shops nearby. There's actually one right here. But actually, I got to get my son off the bus in a minute here. And uh, after that, I'm gonna take this for a ride and see if uh, cleaning that sensor made any difference with the trans. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so the ABS light is still on and the transmission's still shifting hard. I'm gonna check fuses because uh, sometimes, well, I read sometimes if there's a bad fuse or low voltage going to something, related it'll uh, cause these issues so I'm gonna figure out what a fuse box is on this thing and check some fuses real quick so I just spent a bunch of time trying to get at the fuse box and turns out the fuse box has been relocated because he's got so much aftermarket crap on here the fuse box has actually moved from where it's supposed to be So, one of the fuses I went to go check has two wires coming out of it. Two wires that lead to a, to a toggle switch on and off. And that would explain why my power door locks weren't working. And look, power door locks are working now because they're hooked up to a toggle switch. So I found two more switches. I put them all on. Now the ABS light is off right now. still off it stays off come on no slam oh I came on as soon as I started moving
it's not slamming anymore. The transmission isn't slamming into gear anymore. It's drive normal. So I think it has something to do with those uh, switches. Nope, it is not slamming anymore. ABS light's still on, but this is very interesting. So, it has something to do with these switches. slamming anymore so what happens if I where to go go ahead go ahead go go try and figure something out all right I turned off the one for the uh, door locks nope that wasn't it That one back on. All right. It's one of the middle. I don't know what the one in the middle does. Nope. That wasn't it. the one on the end. Sucks I get all this stuff apart now. take out and put back a few few fuses I have no idea what am I doing wrong here all right all three switches are on Transmission sits and fine. The two to three shifts a little lazy, but yeah, transmission shifting totally fine now. ABS light's still on. used. drive it to work tomorrow <laughs> work drive it to the warehouse tomorrow I gotta stop calling it work I'm gonna drive it to the warehouse tomorrow 
and see how it acts on the highway. But it's trans shifting, transit shifted fine now. So I don't know if it was just me cleaning that sensor or what. The ABS light's still on. All right. Whatever. Put these million screws back in and call it a day. Oh, and this thing has a draw. Like it's, um, battery will die after a couple days. And I just realized it's got another battery on it. So I'm going to try replacing that battery as well. It's a good chance that that one's the culprit. All right. I'm going to throw this back together. Go hang out with my son. See you later.